Today is day 42. That's right, 42 days after my vitrectomy. Can you believe it? Now, first of all, I'll give you a report. I don't have full vision. Um, I would say it's about, I'm still seeing a bubble in the bottom and it's still there and it's jiggling. Um, and when there's light coming at me, it's still refracting that light up into my, the rest of my vision, uh, what my eye is actually seeing and creating somewhat of a haze. So that is something that I'm getting used to. It, you know, I say it's a love hate relationship. Um, and I, I love my eyes and I'm so grateful for the eyes that were given to me in terms of, um, how I feel about being uh, preparing for this surgery. Um, there were a couple of things that I think were game changers for me and for my life in general. So first of all, I want to talk about how important meditation and a prayer has been for me. Um, being comfortable, being silent with myself. Um, now, others may, may not, they may not be religious or they may be religious and they want to do prayer um all of that is good it's really about going within and recognizing that there is something bigger than yourself out there and i'm a firm believer of that and it's so needed to um humble yourself and to be in a place where you can say this which has happened didn't happen to me say for example the hole in my macula it happened for me there were so many um little moments of grace that occurred in my life um that were so precious uh there were so many times where i feel i if I hadn't have been in this place at this moment, at this time, I wouldn't have slowed down to actually um, have revelations of things that were given to me, shown to me. So when I, when I say that um, these things happen for me, for my own growth, uh, for the opportunity for me to be able to be of service to others, to help others, and also to receive. Um, the other thing about, the other gift about having the surgery was, I'm, for me, my personality, I'm a giver. I love to give. I love the excitement of giving something to someone and seeing, um, uh, making their day that feels really good, that makes, that energizes me. On the opposite end, I'm not as great at receiving. And having the vitrectomy put me in a place where I had to receive help from others. So I would say that there is much to learn from this experience. It's just a matter of being open. And, and if you can take time to meditate and allow yourself to not be in a state of always doing. There will be so many gifts that will come to you. It, it's just a beautiful thing. And I am so grateful for that. And so I will close. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope what I had to say was helpful, useful, and that you can take something away from that. And so I want to wish you love, light, and most of all, joy in your life.